The fifth edition of the World Nuclear Exhibition was recently held in Villepinte on the outskirts of Paris. Autonomous robotics was one of the highlights of this year's event. Our Framatome uh, robot Amorak stands for Autonomous Mobile Robot for Automated Clearance and it is a robot that is used for uh, uh, radiological characterization so uh, it is able to do um, to measure radioactivity alpha, gap, uh, beta or gamma uh, completely autonomously just from a 3D map that is the first step that the robot can uh, take. So the operator is just going to uh, design the tasks that the robot has to do and then the robot is able to do them uh, completely by uh, itself with a very good accuracy and uh, also handle its charging jobs by itself. It is equipped with a LiDAR that enables the, three, the recording of the 3D map of the space and then different sensors um, for the radioactivity detectors and potentially you can also uh, put pen marker to paint hotspots for example on the structures etc. We develop uh, this robotic solution in the context of the European ACES project uh, in order to go inside uh, pipes uh, near nuclear plants to do some corrosion measurement in concrete pipes. This robotic system is equipped uh, with a uh, lot of sensors. Uh, for mobility, for example, it is using a stereo camera, uh, also a LiDAR, and uh, as well as an inertial measurement unit. Uh, all those sensors uh, are used for the autonomous uh, mobility, uh, but also other camera, for example, panoramic and uh, pan tilt zoom camera are used uh, for monitoring uh, from a uh, remote operator. Here behind me, you see a robot that is able to sort waste. The robot has two different objects, uh, but here you could actually put any kind of objects in the basket of the robot. It is not programmed to recognize any uh, object at the beginning, but it is programmed to retrieve the objects from a bulk with unknown uh, uh, components and then with its sensors that are vision or radiological measurement sensors and or weight sensors and so on and so forth it will um, just proceed to a task of sorting the objects according either to their materials or to uh, their weight or to their radiological measurement and so on and so forth.